Dana here today with an episode of Star Wars and History. This will be a new series where I examine the similarities between Star Wars and actual history. So, today's episode is about the regimes of Hitler and Palpatine. If many of you don't know already, these have many similarities. So, let's get into it. Hitler and Balpatine both rise to power by obtaining the favor of the people. So, when Hitler rose to power, he got his power by obtaining favor of the people, writing letters, becoming a political activist, uh, rallying people behind ideas such as Jews are evil and whatnot. Palpatine does similar things. If you, Palpatine is elected into Chancellor, which subsequently is also the same position Hitler obtained, Chancellor, and so Palpatine uses his position to gather more power, just as Hitler does, but also gain favor of people while he does that. And by the time he rises people, power, people are happy for it. They don't see it as a bad thing until afterwards. So, both also rule through fear. So Palpatine rules through fear, makes the Death Star, he uh, has Imperial troops all over the place, Hitler has troops all over the place as well, he kills Jews on the street, um, so they both have very big similarities, you're not going to see a dictator who doesn't rule through fear, but these both obviously ruled through fear in big ways and all the time. Hitler also gave speeches all the time to keep people up, keep their spirits uplifted, even though they were in the middle of world war. Uh, Palpatine didn't do this. Palpatine was never really in a full out war other than the rebellion, which in a way was a war, but in a way it wasn't. So, uh, let's continue. So, Hitler has a totalitarian regime and Palpatine an empire. The same group remains in power. Now, a totalitarian regime and an empire are two completely different forms of government. But, the thing that's the same about it is that the head person can remain in charge. You don't know what totalitarian government is... Totalitarian government has basically one party that can run for any government position. So because of this, Hitler's Nazi party is able to stay in power, whereas an empire is basically like a kingdom set for, it's kind of under a different title, and the, the successor isn't as well thought about, I guess you could say. It's kind of like a dictatorship. So, in this sense, Palpatine is the same group that stays in power. Now, both empires fall with their leaders. Hitler commits suicide. At the time Hitler commits suicide, the imp his empire was basically falling apart. There's no reason for him left to live. He knew if he got caught that <laughs> he was probably going to be put to death. Probably he would be put to death. So, you know, he didn't want to face it like a man. He went out. And that basically, without the Lear rule anymore, there was no chance anyways that Hitler's regime would stay in power. Uh, with Palpatine... Palpatine wasn't like Hitler, he didn't kill himself, go out in the same way, but the Empire does kind of start to crumble in big ways when Palpatine dies. Now, it doesn't necessarily crumble to the point where it no longer exists like Hitler's Empire did, but it does fall apart, and it crumbles, and it is much weaker, and allows the New Republic to form. So, there are differences, even though their rise to power and their fall of power are quite similar. Now, 
the next thing is both suffer rebellions. Now, for Palpatine, the rebellion is the actual rebellion. That's what it's called. And it's more of a, it's also more of a military movement and very organized. They have capital ships. They have t a lot more resources compared to the French rebels in France that Hitler was having to fight off. But what these French rebels did was they basically weakened France or allowed and gave intel to the Allied powers. So they were still powerful in that sense. So though the rebellions are a little bit different, they both suffered through rebellions. However, Hitler at the same time was fighting off another front. He was fighting war. So with Palpatine, the rebellion was the war. So that's the difference there. And the last major thing I can think of is that Palpatine promotes stormtroopers and humans, while Hitler promotes the Third Reich and Germans. So, Palpatine only wanted humans. He didn't really care about other alien species unless they benefited him. For example, Wookiees are used as slaves. And there are several other groups used as slaves. Lassants, nearly destroyed by the Empire. Palpatine doesn't care about other alien species. Hitler doesn't care about other races. He wants a pure German race. Both of these are looking for a pure group. That's why you don't really find stormtroopers that aren't aliens. That are aliens. And you don't find <laughs> Jews in the Nazi regime regime because it's just not going to happen Hitler doesn't think Jews are pure he doesn't think communists are pure he doesn't think Russians are pure necessarily so he's going to kill all these people Palpatine didn't necessarily go right out and kill all the people he didn't like but he did make it obviously clear he preferred humans and he made the human the face of his empire. He didn't really allow other groups in. So this is the big difference. And these are the big similarities. Between the rise and fall. And the regimes of Hitler and Palpatine. So if you have any other feature topics to suggest. Go ahead. I'll put them on my list for this series. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this new series. See you later. Bye.